weeks since you called And I've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along Where you been? Where did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for Wonder if you found what you're looking for I hope it's not too late I want you back here with me We never should have said It's better this way I'd rather be with you Than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me Say that you won't go I can't cope without you and I wanna hold you close Say that Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. In today's video, I will be sharing with you tons of motivation, laundry motivation, baking, homemaking, gardening, cooking, so much motivation. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Um, it is really early in the morning. It is 6.30 a.m. And of course, I have to start off by making some cold coffee. My favorite coffee is iced coffee. So that is what I will be doing. And then after the coffee, we will get right into all of the motivation so i hope that you enjoy today's video it is a pretty long video over 45 minutes so i hope that you will enjoy it and get all of the motivation that i will be giving in today's video but let's get started i want you back here with me we never should have said it's better this way i'd rather be with you Someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me Say that you won't go I can't cope without you And I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go 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 I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me, say that you won't go Every morning before I get up and go make breakfast or start the day, I do go downstairs and check on all of my plants and seedlings. I love to see what's growing, what is brand new, what needs water, what needs some love. Um, it's just one of my favorite ways to wake up in the morning very slow and just looking at the life that I am bringing um, for the summer so it is just really exciting right now what you are looking at is all of my cucumbers and tomatoes and then I have my peppers and my dill so there is just so much there's some of my lettuces um, and then after that I am going to go upstairs pull out my sourdough starter and start letting it warm up so I can make some sourdough bread and sourdough loaves and then um, I am also going to bring up some of my lettuces and broccoli and some dills and my rosemary and lavender um, so that they can get some natural sunlight and then I am going to start taking them out because I am going to pot them up soon so that they can go outside and just be out there until like June or July when it gets really, really hot.
So now that it is a little bit later in the morning, it's 8 a.m., I am going to start making breakfast, and this is a regular breakfast we have been having lately since we have started changing our eating habits and our portions portion sizes um, and just really been focusing on what's going in our body and making sure there's no harsh ingredients or whatever. Um, this is just a really delicious breakfast so I do like to cut up some grapes and strawberries and apples um, Lucas gets grapes and strawberries and then me and Andre get apples with our grapes and strawberries and then we all get a yogurt so me and Andre have the two good yogurt from Target but you can also find it at other stores and we love the coconut and vanilla um, and then Lucas has a goods and gather brand yogurt that's strawberry banana and the mixed berry he loves those they are so delicious and then on top of our apples I do spread this mixed nut um, butter peanut butter it's the good and gather brand and it's so delicious I do like to keep it in the fridge since it's not so runny it kind of thickens up in the fridge and I like it more thicker than runnier um, <laughs> if that makes sense um, and then sometimes we also have a banana sometimes we have an egg on the side or a bagel or some toast or my sourdough bread um, just every morning's a little bit different but for the most part we do have apples yogurts and strawberries and grapes um, and then Lucas I do make him an egg not every morning but some mornings and then sometimes a hash brown with some ketchup on it he loves his ketchup and then um, sometimes pancakes with peanut butter on them too so it always changes but for the most part this is just such a delicious good portioned breakfast it keeps us um, energized and filled until pretty much 3 p.m. and sometimes all the way up to dinner so it's not that bad um, very low in calorie and just such a good breakfast um, and then I also do like to put granola, honey, and chocolate chips in our, in our yogurt. Um, since it is Greek yogurt, it's not as sweet, so that honey really does sweeten it up and make it more tasty. I forgot to mention, so today, as I am recording this, I did make my own granola. I have been wanting to make my own granola bars and granola for a while now, and so I bought some ingredients. Um, I have my own homemade vanilla extract, and I bought some rolled oats. We have honey here. So what I did is I just mixed rolled oats with vanilla extract and honey and baked it at 300 degrees for 20 minutes and it made some yummy granola. I also put some cinnamon in it and that was my first time making it. I could definitely do better but it worked and it was delicious. We still have some so if you're interested in seeing how I make some granola bars or granola for yogurt let me know because I would totally share it with you guys on this channel when I make some sourdough bread or whatever it is but if you are interested in seeing that or if you have any recommendations or recipes I would love to hear from you Andre went pretty quick this day um, since I did it so early in the morning and I only had one load of laundry to do. 
um, but since it is all done and I have some time to spare before I have to go make bread because my um, sourdough is still rising, um, I am just going to fold some of the laundry and then put it all away. So I hope you enjoy this motivation, especially if you have some laundry to get done today. Where is the line between dreaming and feeling blue? It's four o'clock in the evening. I haven't left my room. But the truth is, if I'm I feel stuck here in the middle Am I one of those crazy people? Should I stay here or should I let go? After I do some laundry, I am going to pot up this money plant. Um, this is going to be a house plant, but I started it this year. This is actually a new plant I started this year, and it is so pretty. It grew like crazy, and I just am so happy that I grew it and I started it. Um, I did want to pot it into one of these little pots that I found from the Target dollar spot for $5. It's really cute um, and it's the perfect size. So it looks cute on my shelf where I keep all of my plants and my books. Um, I'll have to show you what it looks like in another video with all the other plants and where I keep everything because it really does just look so cute on the shelf. Um, but it is growing like crazy still and I just am so happy to have it. My sourdough has fully risen I am going to start two sourdough bowls so I just have to weigh them and put all the ingredients together and then let them rise and I will be showing all of that 
um, and then after I make the bowls I will start the sourdough loaves I did not film how to mix them and prep them and everything but I do show the loaves in this video with them rising and before baking them and after they are baked and everything turned out so delicious and so yummy we are still working on the bread we have some downstairs in our deep freezer and then we actually have one up here that we have been munching on for different um, meals and all of them just turned out so great So I am on the first stretch and fold with each of my sourdough bowls. I have to stretch and fold four times every 30 minutes for up to two hours. Um, and so as you can see, this is my first one that I am doing my stretch and fold. The dough is still very sticky and not fully put together. But as we keep going through all the stretch and folds, it will get better and not as sticky and just be more put together and then after all the stretch and folds um, I just have to let them rise for multiple hours and what I just showed was the sourdough loaves and that just needs to rise um, they it's like a completely different recipe so the loaves are much quicker than the bowls but I decided to bake them all together pretty much even though after the loaf in the bowl rises you have to switch it to the pans and they have to rise again in the pans before you bake them take a call with an old friend get the guts to start over again you gotta lose to be ready to win just stretch and fold now I am going to start cutting some leaves off of my lettuces for some lettuce leaves because I am going to make a fresh salad for lunch it is around noon time and we are hungry for lunch so I'm getting my fresh salad leaves I'm going to wash them and then spin dry them um, and then cut up some bell peppers cucumbers tomatoes and then put some feta in there and then some um, lime oil and then balsamic vinaigrette and the salad was so delicious watch the sunrise with the holy ghost taking my time in the letting go
Now that I am fully done stretching and folding all of my bread loaves, I am going to let them rise fully now. But before we go on a walk, it was such a sunny and beautiful day outside. I did take my plants out to go and acclimate to the weather um, for 15 minutes so I can fully get them potted outside. Um, and they actually love this weather when it's gloomy and a little bit chilly because they are cold hardy plants. Um, but after all that, now I'm going to start on dinner. It's about 4.30, 5pm and I'm making this chickpea teriyaki hoisin dinner. Um, there's broccoli, chickpeas, and rice, and it is so delicious. You just bake them all and then get it all together. And it's literally about like a 20 minute dinner. That's all it takes. I actually started a board on my Pinterest that has all these different diff um, dinner recipes that we enjoy having for my family. And um, we can rotate them every week. For something new but now it's just easy to prep dinners and just know what we can grocery shop for and have and what my son will eat especially because he is a picky toddler but this dinner was so delicious again you can find it on Pinterest it has chickpeas broccoli and rice and this hoisin teriyaki sweet sauce um, I did also add green beans to mine just because I had that in my fridge. So you could add green beans or bell peppers or zucchini or carrots, honestly whatever you would like. There's some onions and garlic, um, but yeah, it was so delicious. If 
dinner I headed downstairs to where all of my garden plants are and I am just going to take some of me time and just be with my plants while Lucas hangs out with his dad and has some fun times um, playing with his dinosaurs and all of his toys um, it is about 6 p.m. so it is still kind of light outside and just really time to relax before bedtime. Um, now I'm going to repot some of my seedlings like my lime basil, my cucumbers, um, some of my zinnias, my cosmo flower, um, some of my garlic chives, and just some other things that I need to repot. Um, so I hope that you enjoy all this gardening. It is a bit of footage because we are down here for a couple of hours um, and just really getting some of the plants repotted since they are just growing so big. Whatever it was that held me back, I'm sure it wasn't true. Holding on too long and unresolved questions holds you down. 
What could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown. I'm moving on. Changes around me, on and on. I feel I must. Whatever happened to me happened for my highest good. I read that in so many books. Now it's almost understood. I'm moving on. If you're looking to begin, then look no further than within. I'm satisfied with what I've got and still eager for more. The change that you've been looking for will come knock on your door. On and on. So my plants repotted. So here are my cucumbers and those are my zinnias. 
Um, more cucumbers. I did so many cucumbers. I have a total of 18 cucumber seedlings, which is insane. Um, and then there's some of my peppers, my lime basil, there's my loofah, some spearmint, um, cucumbers again. I love the cucumbers. I am so excited to make lots of pickles this year. And then there were some of my Save the Bees flowers, my eucalyptuses, tomatoes, um, there's more zinnias, more cucumbers, my coleus plants. Um, some of my chives and scallions um, again more cucumbers there are just so many there's my Cosmo flower my one and only that I got this year by doing the seedlings I am going to throw more into my garden beds I actually have some Vego gardens that I got this year that I'm going to start my plants in and I also have some pots and some grow bags that I will be putting some of these in um, and then lastly I am going to water my plants because they got some new soil and that soil wasn't as wet as they need so I did want to water them and then after that I headed upstairs I put Lucas to sleep because now it is past his bedtime he goes to bed at 8 p.m. Um, well, at least we try to keep him on schedule for 8 p.m. Um, but now I'm going to bake my sourdough bowl breads. And so I'm going to put them on parchment paper, score them so that they can have some ventilation while they're in the oven, and then put them in my Dutch ovens and let them bake for about 35 to 40 minutes. And then after that, I'm going to let my... Um, sourdough loaves warm up as you can see they're on the stove right now as it's getting warm so that they can keep rising and then after that I'm going to let them go into the oven so they can bake sourdough bowls out of the oven because now they are done and they turned out so perfect there is nothing better than warm bread 
fresh out of the oven. It was so hard not to just dig into it and eat it with some butter, but I did not do that because obviously I want to make meals with them and not just eat a whole bread bowl um, in one sitting, even though it's so delicious and I want to so badly. Um, but now I am going to score the loaves so that they can go into the um, oven. Now that my loaves are baked and they just got out of the oven, I do want to put some fresh butter on them. Um, again, nothing is better than eating perfectly fresh, warm bread with butter on it from the oven and just snacking on it. But I knew I could not do that. Um, also, I wanted to get some clips and pictures in the morning when it was daytime. Um, because they just all turned out so beautiful but yes I love how everything turned out I hope that you enjoyed today's video this is it for the video we got so much done in this video laundry baking gardening um, taking care of my son we went on a walk making yummy food and just so much so I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you got all the motivation that you needed thank you so much for being here again I only post on Tuesdays from now on but they will be longer videos so I hope you enjoy all of that please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you all again next time bye friends Blue moon, gonna miss the